there are arguably no two bigger style icons right now than Zendaya, the 20-year-old Spider-Man, homecoming actress and recent Vogue cover girl, and Celine Dion, the 49-year-old singer and now streetwear savant. At first glance, they may seem worlds apart, not only in age, but also background and aesthetic. At Paris Haute Couture Week, for example, Zendaya sat front row in a glamorous Ralph and Russo gown well beyond her years, meanwhile Celine Dion stepped out Givenchy faux leather overalls and Kanye West heels. But they've actually got a lot more in common than meets the eye. What aligns these two superstars is not their style but rather their wholehearted, over-the-top approach to it. And because of this, they are able to share a stylist, a man named Loroch who prefers to call himself an image architect. It was he who drew the blueprint to help transform Zendaya from a gregarious teenager to a glamorous Hollywood starlet, and later introduced the Las Vegas diva Celine Dion to streetwear brands that matched her bravado. Last week, we caught up with Roach over the phone from Paris, where he sat at a cafe eating chocolate cake, with a scoop of ice cream, after facilitating both his clients' many haute couture week appearances. It was this same time last year that he put Dion in a very fitting Vietman's Titanic hoodie, signaling to the fashion community that she was ready to claim her style icon crown. And indeed, this season she took the streets of Paris like she owned the place, striking poses outside of shows that rivaled the statues in the Louvre, and emerging from the sunroof of her town car to blow kisses at crowds of fans. Like his clients, Roach who is also a judge on America's Next Top Model, seems to live for high fashion, and even in his downtime enjoys playing dress-up with his clients. One night in Paris, for example, he organized an impromptu photo shoot with Zendaya in her hotel room at the Ritz until 4 o'clock in the morning, because, well, say la vie! Exclamation mark see the results below. Where in the world are you right now and where did this shoot with Zendaya take place? I'm actually still in Paris. It was in her hotel room at the Ritz. Was it an impromptu thing or had you planned it? No, this was very impromptu. We had just gotten back from dinner, and I think she was a bit jet lagged and hadn't been sleeping. I was like, well, let's do a photo shoot. So we were up until maybe 4 o'clock in the morning just playing around. She did her own hair and makeup. It's so funny how the universe works because I had actually just bumped into an old friend of mine from Chicago in Paris who happens to be a photographer. So I texted them, hey what are you doing right now? This sounds like sort of a metaphor for your life right now, dressing up amazing women on the fly. How long have you been working with Zendaya? I've worked with her for six years now. I'm the only stylist she's ever had. You guys must be really close. Yeah, at this point she's my younger sister. You've been working with Zendaya on her red carpet looks for Spider Man Homecoming. What has that experience been like and what are some of your favorite looks? The press tour was great. It was an artistic outlet for both of us because there were so many looks. I loved the Ralph and Russo custom pink dress she wore to the premiere. To me, she was like a life-size Barbie doll. She actually wore the same shoes for most of the press tour, these white La Sheila pumps. She probably wore them like, seven times, which is hilarious. Zendaya is such a risk-taker when it comes to her style. Is there anything that she doesn't like to wear? No, not at all. I think we're both very conscious of who her audience is, and who looks up to her. She's very responsible in that matter. She'll be 21 in September and you still haven't seen her do anything super sexy. She has a huge respect for the younger girls who've grown up with her and the ones who are discovering her now. One of the things we say is, you have your whole life to be sexy. So, that's one of the things she hasn't really done. You were in Paris for Couture Week. Were there any looks you wanted to grab right off the runway? I was in love with Aliana Serjenko. It was 1940s inspired, and that reference is kind of why I wanted to be in fashion. I was just obsessed with the way women looked back then, the way they carried themselves, and the types of clothes they wore. So that was a definite standout for me. You were at Couture Week with Celine Dion as well. How long have you been working with her? 
I've been working with her for a year now. Yet you've had such a transformative experience with her. How has your relationship evolved? How did she first respond to all these new options you came in with? I call myself an image architect, not so much a stylist. So when I meet my clients, we built a blueprint of what I think their fashion profile should be and how I'm going to get there. I was just surprised at how much of a fa.